morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. All right, so today um, I want to talk about, well, I want to send a message to parents uh, because I've had a few conversations over the past week uh, regarding uh, their children. Uh, and one thing that we cannot do as souls is save another soul from their own soul. And what that really means is that a parent cannot save their child from their from their child's soul condition. That which or that condition which the child has, which has been given by the parents, and also what has been created due to their environment, you cannot save that soul from experiencing what's within that soul. If there is pain, there is trauma, that trauma must be experienced in order to show the soul that it's there so it can choose to release it. And that, that really means that there are going to be traumatic experiences, whether it's rape, whether, whether it's molestation, whether it's being beaten, whether it's being um, rejected, whether it's being used, whether it's being ridiculed, it doesn't matter what it is. Whatever the contents that are within the soul must be made manifest in order to show that soul that it's within them. If that soul is not aware that or aware of the reasons why those things are happening, then they will just experience it as pain for no good reason. They will come to a conclusion, usually it's because they're bad, they're not worthy, God doesn't like them, um, whatever, they have bad luck, uh, whatever. Whatever belief that they will come to, they will need to... They will, they will feel they need to come to a realization or a justification, I should say, as to why those things are happening. But there's only one reason why it's happening, and that's to expose to that soul what dwells within it. That's it. And so I was having a conversation with this one parent, and her child uh, had an anxiety, or a panic attack at school. And she started, the mother started crying because this was happening. And we've been having conversations about the soul and things like that, but, you know, she felt like, she felt helpless, like she couldn't save her, her daughter from experiencing this. And that is the truth. You can't, you can't save your child from experiencing anxiety. It's going to happen if, it's, if whatever is in the soul is going to happen, is going to happen. Or I should say, whatever is in the soul is going to be made, be made manifest. And there's nothing we can do about it other than heal ourselves. Now, that's the only way you can help your child is by healing yourself because if your child has it it's because you gave it to the child through the soul transference at conception so if you are if you have an inability to handle whatever is coming at you then your child is going to have an inability to handle what's coming at them it's just the same it's like a duplicate you and you can't save your child from that just like you're it's almost like um you're unwilling to heal yourself, but you want to heal your child. And it doesn't work that way. Because each soul has a responsibility to itself. This is why it's so important to teach your kids, hey, you know, you are responsible for yourself. You are responsible for your actions. You are responsible for how you feel. If you feel this way, these are, going, these are the laws. These are the universal laws. If you do this, this is going to be the outcome. If you are the cause of this, then this is going to be the effect. This is what children need to understand so they know how to live their life, so they know what not to do. But most most people don't know this stuff, so they just teach their kids, hey, you know, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. You know, someone hurts you, you hurt them back. You know, someone uh, says something to you, you say something back, you defend yourself. Not understanding that that's what is creating more degradation within that soul. You can't fight anger with anger. You can't fight at all. That's the whole point. This is a universe of love. So you only benefit when you use love. That's it. That is it. So you teach your children how to love. You teach yourself how to love. You show by example how to love. You learn what the truths are and you live by those truths because if you live by truth, you live in love. It's really that simple. If someone hurts you, understand it's something within you that's calling that to you. So if someone hurts them, it's something within their soul that's calling it to them. So if there's a lot of pressure on your child and they're having anxiety and panic attacks, then that means you had a lot as a child. 
and they're just and it, the thing is you may have experienced what you've experienced and felt like okay well I barely managed but I got through it but understand now they have all the contents within your soul at the time of conception plus their the other parents uh, soul condition and so this is why each each generation is is um, becoming less and less capable of handling just the simplest of uh, issues that arise. They can't handle it. They're very weak in that respect. Weak in terms of man's perspective, because man looks at it as being weak. But what's really happening is they're not they're not able to. Um, Manip not manipulate, uh, they're not able to um, draw in a blank goodness <sighs> cope with the uh, with the things that, that are happening on a daily basis uh, this is why the social media thing is such this bullying thing is such a big deal someone can say something and people just fall apart some people can say something about you on social media and people want to commit suicide this is this is where this is the state of humanity in the moment. This is how degraded the soul is. The soul is barely able to to cope with certain things, and the thing is, the reason why they're not able to is because it's almost like the souls are reaching their peak. It's like they're reaching their peak of degradation that they're able to hold, and they can't suppress it anymore. And just the slightest of things will just trigger them, and that's the way it's supposed to happen because. Every time we get triggered, it's an opportunity to release the, the, the unloving contents that we have held on within our soul. The things that have been transferred to us and the things that we have accepted on our own through our life experience. Every time we get triggered, it's an opportunity to release. So I don't see it as a bad thing that people are so um, sensitive these days. I think it's a good thing that they're sensitive to pain because historically, people have not been sensitive to pain. They have ignored it and shoved it down and pushed it down and, and suppressed it and ignored it, tried to bury it, and now it's surfacing. This is why everyone is so touchy on, on about everything. You said this to me or you did this or you didn't do that. Like Everything is, is, a, is a trigger right now. And that, like I said, that's a good thing because we need to release this degradation that is within us. And you see these movements where people are talking about, you know, um, acceptance of self, body image, you know, have confidence. Um, don't worry about what other people are doing or thinking. Focus on yourself. It's about love. It's about coming together. Granted, this is a natural love, but that's good enough. Hey, if we're moving in an upward direction, that is good. Divine truth that does not have or divine love does not have to be present if you don't want it present in your life. But if you're working for yourself from a perspective of, of natural love, I think that's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. It's, it's not enough for some people. Some people want more than that and they have more to, uh, and there's more to be had. But anyway, like I said, you can't save your kids um, from what you gave them because you gave it to them already. That was your gift to them. Your denial of yourself was what you gave your child. Everything that you denied, your child has up to the point of uh, conception. And... Uh, the only way, like I said, the only way to help them is to help yourself, heal yourself. Other than that, you can't protect your kids from anything. Because at some point, they're not, see the thing is, they're not going to be in your purview 24 hours a day. And because of that, they're going to be subjected to all types of things. And Law of Attraction is going to find every opportunity it can to bring whatever is within their soul out. So every experience, every manifestation is only to show that soul this is what dwells within you. Now take an active, now take, take, take an active or play an active role in releasing that which dwells within you. That's the message. That is the message. That's it. That's why all these bad things keep happening to us because there's something within our soul that we need to see. And the thing is, if your parents are ignoring it, if you are the parent and you're ignoring it, how are you going to teach your child? How are you going to be open and honest with your child? You can't because you're ignoring it. You're suppressing it. You're trying to shove it down. You don't want to acknowledge it, so you can't acknowledge it for your child. Therefore, your child has to experience these painful things that just hurt you so much. But it doesn't hurt you enough because you're not willing to help yourself heal yourself so that your child is healed. Think about that for a moment, people. All right, my 10 minutes is up. It's 9-something. Have a great uh, Tuesday. Bye now. <laughs>